Hey everyone, so um, I'm back after a little small hiatus. Um, I've been full of germs, which has been no crack for the last um, week or so, so I haven't really been made any videos, haven't really made any videos, because um, I did want to make another another Valentine's tutorial and I wasn't able to for it. But um, I was kind of like thinking about what to do for uh, like videos for this week. My cough is still pretty bad, so I didn't really want to talk too much. So I did do a tutorial for this look and it's going to be voiced over. So <coughs> when I get a chance to um, voice that one over, I will. But I figured for this video, I'd show a few products that I kind of accumulated um, over the last couple of weeks, say, um, maybe two or three weeks. And some of them I've already done blog posts on, some of them I plan, um, I still have to do blog posts on and I'm still kind of trying trialing out and stuff like that. And some of them I got myself, so it'll just kind of give you an idea of the bits that I'm kind of playing around with at the moment. And if there's anything you really would want to know more about, you can let me know. And um, anything that I have done blog posts on already will be... Um, there'll be links to that below. So, <coughs> apologies if I'm coughing notes throughout this video. I'll start off with some hair care because that's like always the least amount of stuff that I always have. I have been using this stuff. I mentioned this guy here before. It's the Lee Stafford treatment for hair that never grows beyond a certain length because I showed the empty one of this in my last empties video. So I've been using this in my hair and I think it's fantastic. It just kind of basically is a protein treatment that uh, coats your hair with um, carrot and like protein or whatever and just makes it really strong and lets it grow to its potential um, and when I was in Boots it was on a three for two so I got the hair shampoo um, I don't know why I always say hair shampoo I got the shampoo and the conditioner along with it so I think all three of them cost me 17 euro which wasn't bad and I do think that they seem to be pretty good my hair is in really good condition at the moment and it feels kind of long for the first time in a long time even though it's up in ponytail today but it does feel like it's getting a bit of length and then I was just sent this Aussie Miracle Shine Conditioner, Shampoo and Treatment. And I'm so delighted because I can just use these as soon as I finish off the um, Lee Stafford stuff. So this is for di uh, dull or tired hair looking for a shine, which is kind of like what my hair would be because of over treatment for say this bottom half of my hair. Um, and I've always been a fan of the Aussie hair care um, line. So I'm really looking forward to trying to those out. The treatment here is particularly good. I've used many of these different treatments, um, different of the Aussie treatments before in the past, and I've always had really good results with it. So I'm really looking forward to trying those out. So I'm going to go into makeup, I think, next, just in case anyone's getting bored already. I put in a MAC order there a few weeks ago, and I got a real kind of miss, mishmash. Yeah, mishmash, that's the word I'm looking for, of bits. So um, one thing that I ordered, I wanted to get more of these, but... Um, I only got the white one for the time being. It's a pain stick. This is kind of like, I know it's a bit premature, but with ideas of, um, with the idea of like Halloween looks in mind, I just want to see how it works for like coverage and stuff like that. Cause obviously I do tend to use a lot of white in Halloween looks. I just wanted to see how that worked. I want to kind of stock up on more face paints as well. Um, kind of earlier on in the year, just kind of play around with them and get familiar with them and practice a little bit before it comes to the Halloween period again this year. Another Mac bit was that I got was this um extreme in in extreme dimension mascara. It's one of their newer ones, and it has like kind of like a little ball at the top, so you can use that to separate bits as well. But it's just a really nice black, intense, really volumizing and like intense mascara. Um, it gives a really nice dramatic effect to the lashes and it's not that clumpy and I really like the packaging as well. So let's go through all the MAC bits to start off with. I replenished a few concealers from my kit. I got Studio Finish Concealers in NC30 and NC35. I also got more um, Pro Longwear Concealers. I have them just in here. I got a couple of more shades of the Pro Longwear Concealer like NC30 NC35. They were out of the NW25 which is what I really want because that's really a really popular shade here in Ireland. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to get that one again. I got another black track because my one, after a long time having it, um, but it finally emptied out. And mine, ne mine never ever ever dried up. It was still lovely and fluid right to the very last drop. So I'm using a new one now, and that's for my kit as well. I got one of the new Pro Longwear paint pots. All the MAC paint pots are going to be now Pro Longwear paint pots. They're just kind of like formulations that they're long lasting. The new, um, like the old um, shades are still there as well. And I think they're still going to be the same price of 19 euros, but they have new shades they've added to the line. They're all kind of 
well not sparkly but they're all shiny and a lot of them are like these lovely vintage light kind of pinky colours um, there's some like kind of grey green colours and you know just like really nice kind of girly colours I kind of wish they weren't all sparkly, it'd be nice to have a couple of mattes but I'm sure they'll introduce some of them in the future hopefully. This is Vintage Selection um, and it's just a really beautiful like rosy kind of beige kind of colour, it's really really lovely. And they do last really long on the eyes but I've always found the paint pots to be really long lasting on the eyes. I picked up some um, refill eyeshadows, now there's a story behind some of these. In this palette I also picked up one of the two um, this little two palette, it's 850 here in Ireland I think. I got Brown Down and Kid. On the um, MAC website, maccosmetics.com, if you go into the goodbye section it'll tell you what has been discontinued. And I went on one day and I saw that Kid and Brown Down and some more Silk were all down as being discontinued or like in the bye bye section and I kind of freaked out and um, I was like, oh my god, what do you do? Because they're like ones that you use all the time. They're extremely popular shades and I would be a bit lost without them because I love the shades. So I bought backups of them all and then I went back on the website like the next week and they weren't in the goodbye section anymore. So I'm really confused as to whether they're actually being dis discontinued or they changed their mind for some reason or it was a mistake in the first place. I don't really know. But yeah, I got Kid and um, Brown Down. So Kid is a, a, a brilliant transitionary colour, brown down is just a beautiful, um, lovely warm brown. Samoa Silk goes on really lovely and kind of like quite, it goes on quite orange on the eyes. Um, it's a lovely transitionary colour as well. And I also got Soba, I love this colour, it's just a really beautiful um, colour. They're all lovely for doing smoky eyes. Got another one of my studio for the Mineralize Skin Finish Naturals, um, I think I've showed them before. I also got a dark, no a light plus, a medium plus and a dark something or other. So I basically have all the mineralized skin finish naturals now for my kit because I would use them more than any of the other powders that I have really and I often just like kind of mix two together to get a colour but now I have them all so that's something that I was wanting for a while. I also picked up a couple of these guys. So you would have seen in my recent um, uh, Inglot eyeshadow video, yeah, that I had some of those new MAC palettes, the see-through ones. Now, I need to get more. I did order these guys, but they were out of the actual palettes, but I wanted the inserts, because these are going to be really handy for putting lipsticks into. Now, I do keep uh, lipsticks in my uh, Muji palettes, but those Muji palettes, the wells, basically take the entire lipstick bullet, whereas with this, you can only put it, you can just put in a little bit at a time and you can use it for concealers and like face paints and stuff like that as well so it's really good in that you don't have to empty out the entire bullet you can just put a little bit at a time and um, it's kind of easy to clean out and stuff like that so it'll be really good for the kit I got two of these 24 inserts but like I said I still need to get the palettes the inserts in Ireland cost 850 and the palettes themselves cost 18 euro I think so they are more expensive than what they used to be but they're way handier then I replenished a couple of um, skincare bits. I got this, um, this is for weddings that are coming up that I needed them for. The Complete Comfort Cream by MAC. This is a beautiful, beautiful, um, like rich, it's a really rich moisturizer without being greasy. Like it really moisturize, moisturizes and hydrates, but it's also calming. It has ca it's a calming formula, so it's really good for anyone with high coloring and stuff like that, and anyone who's maybe a bit sensitive. And I also got, again, because of weddings coming up, but I love it on myself, um, the Moisture Infusion Serum. I love this stuff. It's just really hydrating, and that's what I want in a serum. So I love that. Um, oh, I got this guy a while ago, and I, I don't think I've shown it yet. It's one of the new pressed pigments. I'm not sure if there's many of these left on counter anymore. There might be a few. So this is Day Gleam. Um, it's basically like the um, Reflect pigments in pressed form. This was just a really light, you won't be able to see it there, a really light kind of um, yellow based brown I'd say, like a mustardy brown colour in glitter form, um, pressed glitter form, it's really really beautiful. So they were lovely if anyone managed to get their hands on those. I got another lip primer, um, I've spoken many times of my love for those. And I got another one of these guys, it's um, one of the eyelash brushes <laughs> what's the number uh, 205 again um, I got it because they're they're being discontinued so 
sometimes that kind of makes me freak out a little bit and even though I haven't really used them before I'm like oh my god I have to get them just so I can play with them but I had been meaning to get them for a long time and I never did so now I own two of them um, and that was just because they're being discontinued is that all the MAC stuff? Actually, I've been getting a lot of lipsticks lately. Obviously, with my braces off, I've gone a little bit lipstick crazy. Um, a lipstick, I've kind of gotten a lot of lipsticks from MAC recently because I um, did some back to MACs. I got a lot of reds, so I still want to get Dubonnet and Party Line. They're on my wish list, but I got Diva and I got Hang Up and I got Viva Glam 3 and... I got a few other ones. I still want to get Ruby Woo. I have Russian Red, but it's in a Muji palette, so I might get a new one of those. Um, I wanted to get this one here, Amorous. It's just a lovely one because it's more of a plum kind of red. Well, it's more of a plum, really. But um, I used it on a client there recently, and it was just so gorgeous. It wasn't one that I used too often, um, but it kind of inspired me to get it, so that's the <laughs> exciting story behind that. That's it for MAC stuff, I believe. I'm sure if I left something out, I'll let you know about it. So a few sleek products now. I just received this this week. It's one of the new sleek makeup um, eyeshadow palettes. So this is from the Aqua Collection and it's Lagoon. So I assume this is going to be limited edition, but there's some beautiful colours there. So that, that one would be very similar to like, say, Woodwinked by MAC. There's some gorgeous, cool colours, some lovely brights. Um, and then, yeah. Just really really gorgeous colour so I'm looking forward to playing with that and um, trying those out for you. Of course there will be a blog post on that coming up soon once I get a chance to have a play with it. I got, I, I did a blog post on this already so you can see that, I'll link to that below. Two um, of the True Colour lipsticks but they've added 10 new shades. I have one from before, um, from last year, a lovely berry shade. These ones are a bit brighter. This is Tangerine. Scream and Russian Roulette. <coughs> um, this one here is very like Mirage by MAC. It's an intensely neon bright orange. It's absolutely class. You'll see swatches on my blog. This one reminds me a little bit maybe of, of Russian Red by MAC. It's a lovely blue based red. It's a bit more, even though Russian Red is matte, this is a tiny bit more matte on the lips, but you can really tell it'll be long lasting because you can feel it clinging to the lips. They are fantastically opaque they're just amazing quality and they're only like 4 99 in sterling and 5 99 in euros so definitely if you want good um inexpensive lipstick have a look at those i recently got this revlon lip butter as well and i'm really impressed with how it is on the lips because i've heard so many people going on about it this is a very kind of like neutral blur shade but it's really lovely on for an everyday look and it's pink truffle 01 not sure if i showed this before but these are ones that i'm nearly sure i haven't gone on about too much and then I got this with the kind of intention of using it straight away after getting it and I haven't gotten around to it yet. And it's the Superstay 14 hour lipstick. Now I have used it in real life. I don't think I've used it in any blog posts but um, it just lasts so well on the lips but it's a beautiful shade. It's a really bright shade. It would maybe be similar in colour to Ruby Woo by MAC but it's much more moisturising. It's nowhere near as dry as that. But I love that. I want to pick up more of these Maybelline shades because again the quality is just beautiful i think that's all the lipsticks i have just used these barry m dusts for the first time i use number three and number 98 um i'll try and maybe insert them here so that i don't have to open these because i know i keep dropping them and they are fantastic. I love the Barry M dusts. I have many, many of them in my kit from years ago. Um, and they're still going strong and I love them. And they're very in inexpensive as well. Oh, I forgot to show a few other sleep products. So I did a blog post on these guys recently as well. And they are the new Flicked Eyeliners by Sleek Makeup. So they're very like, you know, like Max Rapid Black. What's the name of their, the Mac? Fluid, no, not Fluid Line. I don't know, I can't remember the name of it. The MAC um, Marker Eyeliner anyhow. I know many other brands do it. But these are out in three shades at the moment. The Flickets. There is this purple shade, which is a very, very dark purple shade. But it is purple. It'd be great for green eyes. It is the colour... I don't know what's the colour written on it. Anyhow, it'll be in the blog post. There's also the black one, and then there's a blue one as well. The blue and the purple are... Matte. And those two are going to be limited. And then the black one is... 
shiny and that one's going to be permanent. So they are lovely products and a nice um, addition to the sleek makeup range. I think I can jump on to some Max Factor bits now. I did a blog post on these guys and I am a big fan of the Max Factor nail varnishes. I think they do beautiful colours and I'm a really big fan of the smaller, the mini ones, because I rarely go through a big, big one like this. So I do like kind of for maybe non-wastage, the smaller ones that they do, but they have these new glass finity nail varnishes and they're supposed to go chip free for up to seven days. I've lasted about five days with them on and they're kind of like those ones that they wear away more so than like before they chip so they're really nice kind of long lasting ones and they almost give like a shellac type finish to the nails they're really beautifully beautifully glossy on the nails so um i won't go into these colors too much because you can see them all on the blog post won't see there again they're all supposed to be um like bang on trend for spring summer 13 the same with like the sleek lipstick so nice bright colors and there's different kind of reasoning behind certain color selections I use this for the first time in this tutorial and i'm really impressed with the results it's the new max factor clump defy by false lash effect mascara you know how much i love my max factor mascaras i'm just absolutely in love with them this has um slight curved wand and it has short kind of rigid bristles but it just gives a really really lovely like dramatic yet brushed out effect it, it, it does what it says in the tin it doesn't give you a clumpy um clumpy look and i love those ones and um, so that's that guy and then to finish up i think i have a few skincare bits to show you so i was just sent this new release by la roche posay my beloved la roche posay um brand you know how much I love these guys as well as Vichy and this one my mum has already um put her name on the new Nutritic Intense Rich um in-depth Nutri Reconstructing Cream it's for very dry skin basically um and it's also for sensitive skin they have it in tube form and in this um, jar form and it's just a really lovely rich emollient type cream I've tried it out my mum tried it out um she ripped open the bottle box when she got her hands on it and you know uh, claimed it there and then which is fine but I'm gonna have to test it out a little bit myself and have a go with it but I think I'll probably just pass it on to her and kind of give her results since it's more um, suitable for her skin type but I'll probably do a quick informative post on it and I love the um, skincare that comes from La Roche-Posay because it's extremely fairly priced and it's kind of the upper end of quality when it comes to skincare so I just love those kind of brands I've gone on before about my love for Clinique makeup and I had been using the skin tone even better skin tone moisturizer is that what it's called I think that's what it's called um with SPF 20 and instead I went up um I was going to replenish that one but instead I went for the Clinique Super Defense SPF 25 just because it has that little bit higher SPF in it and um it's has my favorite word on the box which is hydration and I went for um it's a dry combination kind of skin type which is kind of really what I'd say I am now and it's what works really well on my skin at the moment so I'm looking forward to trying this guy out I have it on today and it seems to be great it's not affecting my makeup in a bad way or anything like that um it's very comfortable on the skin it's a good whack of a pot as well it's a really it seems like a big size I don't know it's probably the same size 50 mil I don't know but that's that guy, um, not the cheapest in the world, I think it's in the 30 something mark, um, but it's still a lovely product. And then uh, three products that I got because they were on a three for two in Boots. I love my um, Soap and Glory stuff, that's no surprise. I got this Hocus Focus Instant Visual Flaw Softening Notion. I haven't done any blog posts or anything on these yet, but it will be coming. It's basically like moonbeam or high beam or one of those but it's or it's no it's like a slightly more fluid i'm not saying this right it's kind of like max strobe cream more so than the strobe liquid because i think max strobe liquid is actually a little bit dry on the on the skin but this basically okay let's try that again it's like a more hydrating version of max strobe liquid there you go but it's not quite as fluid it's a little bit more opaque than that but it's not a cream beautiful beautiful on the skin i love the effect i've been using that by itself like over say um moisturizer or whatever or underneath foundation or like just been putting it on the high points i also got this make yourself youthful super serum 
So this is one of those serums that you really feel locks in the moisture because it, it, it almost kind of forms a film over the face. So what I tend to do is spritz myself with a thermal spray or a water spray like the MAC Mineralize Spray or something like that and pop this on and then it just really feels like it's trapping everything in and has loads of other like hydrating ingredients in it. And I am a sucker for the packaging. I love this. Um, I can't remember the price for it. I had kept the receipt and... Sure, I'm always losing receipts, so I can't remember where I put it. But then I also got this um, Feel Good Factor SPF 25. Now I know I just got this, so it seems a bit funny, but um, I'll go through them anyhow. So, And these are kind of my only two daytime moisturizers at the moment anyhow, so I can kind of interchange. This is an amazing everyday facial moisturizing lotion with ultralight UVA, UVB screens and antioxidant vitamin balls. Um, and of course, I do get sucked in by packaging with these guys as well. Finally, I've gone on about my Coastal Sense brushes before. I've gone on about my um, Sigma Performance Eye brushes before. I have some new lovelies to share with you. Um, I will be of course doing a video on these soon but they are Zoeva brushes. I had never heard of Zoeva in my life up until a few weeks ago. Um, a subscriber or a blog reader actually um, let me know about it and thanks so much for letting me know about it because I went onto their website and I my jaw just dropped when I saw the, the brush set. I basically picked my favourite, my six favourite brushes from the complete set I think. I don't know, I'll link to it below anyhow. I got the Zoeva um, 104 Buffer Brush, which is like a flat top kabuki. I think these look so luxurious for some reason. There's just something really, like, elegant about them. I don't know. And of course, um, it would be their synthetic bristles this as well. This is the 106 Powder Brush. It's a gorgeous size. So soft. I mean, I could literally just spend the day brushing myself, which I won't. Um, and it says, Colour Love and Makeup on the brush handles and I kind of like that they're not that long and um, I've said it before I personally prefer using shorter handle brushes on my own like on myself on my own uh, makeup and then I use the longer handle ones for my kit Um, these are definitely too precious to be precious to be using on anyone else at the moment what I might do is just replenish again in the future because they, they work so brilliantly it would be nice to use them on clients this is my favorite foundation brush at the moment it's the number 102 silk now this one works fantastically for foundation as well, but this one, because it's beveled at the top, I just find that I kind of get in around some nooks and crannies a little bit better, and it'll be a little bit more um, tightly packed, so you get really good coverage. But this is a little bit of a love of mine at the moment. Um, this guy here I've been using for contouring. This is the 110 face shape. It's great for highlight. You can even just use it for um, concealer or for um, like selective foundation placement um, and highlighting and stuff like that. You have the concealer buffer 142. This is what I've just been constantly using for concealer lately. It's very, it's kind of reminiscent of my l beloved um, EB13 Sedona Lace, but it's fatter. So um, yeah, it works absolutely fantastically. And finally, I have the 228 crease brush, which very much reminds me of the 224 by MAC, but it's a nicer kind of quality hair from what I can tell. I just, I'm not the biggest fan of the 224 by MAC for the hair, that's it. I love the shape and I love all that kind of stuff, just not the hair, this seems to be a softer hair, but it's absolutely beautiful for crease. And it's lovely for concealer as well. Um, and then I also got the Zoeva brush cleaner. Now I haven't used this too much yet, I'm still kind of favoring my MAC brush cleanser. From what I can tell, this doesn't seem to have the same almost like soap-like quality of the brush of the MAC brush cleanser, but it does clean the brushes. In um, saying that, it doesn't seem to like remove, you know, like tricky stains quite as easily as the MAC brush cleanser does. It does clean and sanitize your makeup brushes, and you will get them clean, but maybe not as quick as with the brush the MAC one. But saying that, I haven't used it quite as much yet, but it is in a much nicer brush dispenser bottle than the MAC one because it comes with a pump which I think is fantastic. And then I also received two little shadow fix um, testers with my order. This one is matte which is the one I've used. I haven't used the pearl one. This 
guy does is not budging. I, I'd say it'll be brilliant for anyone who suffers from oily lids and um, creasing and stuff like that because anytime I've swatched this and then clean my hand or try to clean off my hand or my eye, this is still left over even after the first cleanse so you kind of have to really go in, in at it again. But it's absolutely fantastic and definitely I think it'll be brilliant for anyone with oily lids. Okay, so that's all my products for now. Um, That was a lot to take in, I'm sure. But yeah, look out for some of those in upcoming videos and um, blog posts and yeah, I look forward to playing with some of them and um, letting you know about them. So thanks so many for watching guys and I will chat to you all really soon. Salon.